with an open differential all the power gets diverted to the tire which does not have the traction in result the tire with traction gets no power and the car cannot move forward I want to show you the open differential with a Suzuki Cross it comes with an open differential from factory and this car right now is in two wheel drive mode Start 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 Here, all the power is getting diverted to the free wheel and the tire with traction is not getting enough power to move the car forward. The second type of differential we have today is limited slip differential. In theory, the limited slip differential should send some amount of power to the other wheel which still has traction and this is what I used to believe as well. But with my experience with off-roading, I realized in practice LSD does not help much of the road. Today in the video we have two cars here with LSD. The first one is old generation Ford Endeavor and the other one is a brand new Safari Storm 4x4. With one wheel stuck ideally this car should send some amount of power to the wheel with traction and on surface even a little power should be enough to move the car forward. But in practice as you can see it does not send enough power to the, uh, to the wheel with traction. The other car with Foster LSD throttle. on rear axle here is Tata Safari Storm 4x4. It's a brand new car. This is just a few months old car. And even here the LSD is not sending enough power to the other wheel with traction. This is not how LSD should ideally behave. Mahindra Thar now comes with a type of auto locker installed from factory and we call it MLD. What it does is it locks the differential automatically whenever it senses one of the tires has lost traction. It works on the basis of wheel speed difference and this is a mechanical system with no electronics involved. Attack. Engage. Next right. Next right. Next right. Stop, 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 stop. Up, stop. Stop, start now. Start it now. Start now. This auto locker on the Thar works as claimed. Although it engages with a jerk and the actuation is not smooth, it actually manages to split the power delivery 50 50 on both the wheels and the car gets moving. This fourth demonstration here is not related to the earlier three. This is the old generation Fortuner that did not have the two-wheel drive mode and as the sticker on the back side says it has a full-time four-wheel drive mode. So this car has a total of three differentials, front differential, rear differentials which are open type and the center differential which is open in the full-time four-wheel drive can be logged using the gear lever. I don't know what kind of center differential it, this car has. I'm just assuming it's also an open type when unlocked. I was curious to know what happens when one of the tire loses traction when the car is in full-time four-wheel drive mode. In the full-time four-wheel drive mode, what is happening here is out of the four wheels, the power is getting diverted to the tire with least amount of traction. Now, this is only applicable for the default mode and when the center differential is unlocked, this can be locked. We are just testing this uh, op open differential mode just to check how the power gets diverted.